Have you ever noticed how narcissism plus easy technology makes for some very strange happenings in the world? Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with a really quick uh, tech talk and a societal observation vlog today. And I entitled this uh, video or this, uh, this session about you know, narcissism and easy technology and how that is the selling ticket these days, it seems. Uh, I'll give you a point of reference. I, I don't use social media the way most people do, like where I'm constantly swiping up on the phone. This isn't a phone, this is a piece of my chainsaw, but I'm going to pretend it's a phone, where people just sit there and they mindlessly <clears throat> go through like timelines and they like and they do this and after just a few weeks or months and then years go by they're just doing the same thing every single day and it just becomes this routine that gets programmed into their brain but <clears throat> I was looking at <clears throat> excuse me Jesus Christ <clears throat> got a frog in my throat um, that's a uh, Smirnoff spiked sparkling seltzer I'm drinking which is delicious Anyway, we uh, went on this uh, this uh, website, uh, Snapchat, and I think I think um, Facebook owns Snapchat. I forget who, or maybe not. I don't know. They own something, but it's this platform where people take these short videos and they do stupid things. Um, as a side note, this is a social media channel we're on. We're on YouTube. Um, but and we're also on BitChute. We have more followers on BitChute, and we don't even do any kind of announcements. I don't understand how YouTube keeps us uh, bogged down so badly. But um, this is about uh, how I, I went on this Snapchat, and they have this map application. I did it on my desktop computer. I did not. I don't have the Snapchat app. But you go on because like, I was curious to what was happening with that one of these hurricanes that happened recently. And it's just people making what amount to mindless videos of doing really nothing. Like it's like you getting to peek in somebody's living room and they do some stupid thing. And I don't see any net worth other than the only thing that I can see that amounts to anything is someone gets entertained for a, a few seconds. And that, that of course equals what is the next video I'm going to see? What's the next video I'm going to see? What's the next video I'm going to see? And then 20, 30, 40 minutes, two, three, four hours go by and you're just sitting there like, like a voyeur looking at other people's videos. And there's no real information. It's just people doing stupid things. And I just don't understand how these mindless things get traction. Well, I do because, because these platforms and these people are just taking advantage of the human condition um, but what's more important is I don't understand how like meaningful discussion and long-form talks like where you don't just get a knee-jerk reaction like I disagree I agree I know everything everybody seems to know everything these days um, but and you, know, you, you can't no single human being knows everything you know you may have an opinion about everything but you don't know you don't, I don't know everything about everything, but what I do know is that the number of people I can find to have a, like, a, like a nice debate or a, a discussion about something where we, we let's say we take, we're two opinions and we just listen to each other and you think about it. You don't even have to, to respond on the spot. And that, you know, believe it or not, that's how presidential debates used to happen. They used to have like six or eight hours where they would talk and then the next day the person would respond in a public forum and, and talk about their, their, uh, their viewpoints and then it may take two or three days to have that debate. And that, that was short for, for the time in the 1800s they did that. Um, <clears throat> nowadays you can't even finish a goddamn sentence without somebody having an opinion um, or even thinking about it for more than a minute let alone a day or a week or a month. I mean, you ever you just get an idea from somebody and just say, I mean, let me sit on that. I'll think about it for a while. Because no one thinks about anything anymore. They just move on to the next thing that grabs their attention 
And there's never really any kind of concept or idea to think about. Um, I, I, just, I just don't understand why you know, meaningful discussion, truly meaningful discussion has almost been eliminated. Um, and I, when I look at these, these platforms that come out and they, they feed into something that is very easy to tap into and that's the human ego. It's people looking, me, 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 me. I'm not, I'm not doing these videos here because I want any kind of attention. I, I'm trying to just share good ideas and maybe find a soul or two out there that is willing to have a discussion or share some ideas. It's, it's kind of a sad thing. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed that uh, our, our viewership is low. And I'm, maybe I'm not doing the right thing. There's all sorts of methods to, to get you know, recommended and obviously, you know, I have to be interesting. Maybe somebody doesn't think I'm uh, interesting at all, or maybe it's my delivery. <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, it's hard to sell anything to anybody these days, but you apparently not because you, you can get a million views of you eating an Oreo cookie on the sofa in your freaking underwear. I don't understand how that gets so many people excited when like, hey, I have a new idea for you. You can you know, eliminate your food problems almost forever and then nobody wants to see it because they just want to eat their addictive Doritos or bread. I See, it, it, that's what, what gets me. I, I just don't, uh, no, this is kind of a, I'm kind of bummed out about it. But when I was taken aback when I looked at this Snapchat map and, it, and all these different people doing things and they're on this map and they're getting traction for what? I mean, who benefits from it? Obviously, the owners of the, the platforms get, um, you know, receive benefits, and then people are spending money because they want to get in front of eyeballs, and that's how eyeballs sell. You know what I mean? Like, if if a million people are looking at something stupid, you, you'll obviously connect with those million people if you promote your, like, the Super Bowl, for instance. I don't know how many people watch. Thirty million people watch the Super Bowl. I mean, maybe it's a bad idea to go on the Super Bowl and you could just spend your money on, on targeted advertising on, on social media. But the fact that anybody falls for targeting ad advertising is, is beyond me. Meanwhile, I have a website and a vlog that I want targeted advertising on because I'd like to make money too. So anyway, that's it. It's narcissistic. People love, they think they're empowered. They think they're somebody with, if they have 20 or 100 or 1,000 or 50,000 or a million followers. Some people have tens of millions of followers. I, I don't know. It, it's all about narcissism. And, and the, like I said, the meaningful discussion and just maybe that, that's left, that's why people still can meet in person these days before we're fully in the matrix. Uh, people can still talk. But then again, as a final note, I, I really don't, I can't find too many people that are, that are even capable of having like a little bit of a longer discussion. I know a couple people in my area that I can actually talk to for five minutes and, and it's, it's an actually so refreshing. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, dot, 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 dot. I rambled, always unscripted. I have a couple bullet points, and that's it. Enjoy the rest of your day or night.